Hey YouTube, it's day 11 of V-Dog, and today was my last day at work, which was kind of exciting because I haven't had much to do for the past couple weeks, and now I have to start legitimately packing up my life so I can go back to school. I leave on Tuesday. People keep asking me if I'm like excited to go back to school, and I'm like, yeah, I am, but at the same time, I'm not. Just because I don't like starting things, they make me nervous because I don't know what to expect. And I mean, I know what to expect because I've done the whole like going back to campus and marching band thing, but it's always different every year. It's a different room, it's a different band. But at the same time, I do enjoy experiencing new things. I just don't like to start experiencing new things. And I realize that my problem with being afraid of starting new things is part of the reason I am a terrible procrastinator. I'm not sure why it took me so long to realize that this is the reason why I procrastinate, but it's kind of helpful now that I know this is why, because so many times last semester I'd be like, okay, I'm just gonna, you know, get started on this project, and then I wouldn't want to start. But it's just really annoying, because I know if I started earlier, things wouldn't be so rushed at the last minute. But I seem unable to break things down into smaller pieces. I was a lot better at it freshman year and I was like, okay, today I'm going to write the first draft and tomorrow I will edit the draft. But that's still very big chunks of stuff to do. I'm not very good at trying to break up my day into different things. Like if I'm going to start something, I want to be able to just carry it through to the end. And so, in a way, my procrastination almost helped me last semester because it forced me to sit down and just write the paper and not get on Facebook in between because if I know I have all day to write a paper, I will spend half of that day on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and any other kinds of forms of procrastination that I can find. I think part of my problem is that my brain thinks if I procrastinate something long enough, then it'll just go away. This doesn't really happen a lot, but my brain still hopes that it'll happen. Another thing that I think will help me is to find more internal motivation versus external motivation because I kind of rely on things like deadlines and the idea of a challenge to make a video a day for 30 days. Those are the things that motivate me and I'm not very good at staying focused if there's no external motivation. But there are some exceptions to this. For instance, when I decided to become vegan three weeks ago, like, I just became vegan. And I kind of failed in the past just because I was like, oh, I'll kind of be vegan, and that just didn't work. So I think I just need to, there's no halfway point for doing things in my mind. I'm either going to do them or I'm not going to do them. And so, my goal is to actively work towards finding a balance in my schoolwork and just life in general, but at the same time realizing, because I tend to be a perfectionist, that being a perfectionist is not possible and finding that ideal balance is probably not possible or else it's very, very difficult to attain, but that it's still worth striving towards.